Hi everyone, here is a quick tutorial for the Headlands March. Um, I taught at a workshop on Sunday and um, you can get the recording of the full workshop and there's two recordings of me playing this at full speed and a little bit slower. So seeing that it's a March, I'm not gonna slow it down more. Well, actually I am. I'm gonna slow it down more by breaking it down, okay? And I'll explain a, f a few things. Not all the things I do with it, but a few things. So the first thing, you have two pickup notes. And I would go up, up, all right, for the pickup notes. Quick. Very bouncy. Second measure. Then you have three little notes, and I would slur them. And that's almost the whole top line, okay? You can get me, you can email me if you'd like the music for this. So the whole top line, I'm gonna do it a little slow, exaggerating and mentioning things. So up, up for the first two notes. Restarts with up up. That is part A, okay? So it's almost it's almost like one small part that you repeat with a different ending, okay? And then you would repeat all of that again. The most important thing you get here is that you, the majority of the first first beats of each measure are on a down bow, and then you lift your bow for certain notes and you accentuate others, okay? Let's jump to part B. It starts with pickup notes. Oh, and when you, when you do any repeats in the song with the music, if I send you this music, if I send you the music, all the pickup notes are gonna be repeated. I don't know how or why or all of this, but you're just gonna repeat all the pickup notes, if not the, the song will sound a little bare, okay? So here's part B, it starts with a little group of little triplet here and you're gonna do it all in a row in one bow. Up bow, so. Let's try that again, so. I'm leaving my bow a little bit in the air. Air, another triplet. All slurred up. The next part's almost identical, okay? So what you wanna give this tune is a few little lifts and a few little emphasis. And make sure you start with each, each first beat should be a down bow. So here's the next part. Then the second part is repeated and it has a different ending, okay? So let's imagine it's the second time. Up slur. Here's your second ending. Okay, it's quite simple. If you wanna add a couple things, you can double string, you can drone your E notes, all the notes on the E string with your A. And you can do uh, something similar with the notes on the A string. You can drone them with the D, where is it? Okay, and then the last little thing you can add in is that instead of playing at the end of part A or part B, two long A's, bear, you can add grace notes. 
Okay, I'm going A, 3A, A, 3A. And if you want to get very fancy, you can use your pinky. Okay, you can use your pinky on the D string to play an A and drone that with your open A. So those are gonna be your last two notes. And if you wanna get ridiculously fancy, so we went step one, grace note. Step two, double string with your pinky. And step three, you're gonna do both. You're gonna double string, and then you're gonna add a grace note on your A string. And you can end that. A lot of marches are played like that in Cape Breton. Okay, check out video two where I play without talking and video three where I play at full speed without talking.